Now they say it. 1600 meters start as he'd go from the 1600 meter marker golden dynasty is right there shortly after the start umayana is in the green well place london olympics is the red blinkers just off them tinchy striders among the leading group phonetic is well placed and they are followed by Negev is with the white blinkers. Some scrimmaging going on into that first turn. Superceders along the inside. They are followed by Divine Grace at midnight. And then comes Sabang further back. More than great dirt to deal and mama. Orange Blossom is back. Second to last and cashes the trailer. And they're racing about 10, 11 lengths off the leader. Omayana just wins the battle for the lead. London Olympics is on the outside back in second position. They're followed further back by Admiral's Eye, who's near the rail. Tenchi Stride is back in fourth position. On the outside of that Golden Dynasty supersedes near the rail. Negev is in the pink, then Sabung at midnight as the yellow cab. Vanetic is on the inside of runners, and then comes Divine Grace. Top of the stretch, Umayani in the green still leads it. Admiral's Eye with the blinkers is on the outside. Then Super C, Tinchy Strider. Further back, London Olympics, and then comes Negev. Umayana, Admiral's Eye is on the outside. Then comes Golden Dynasty. They're followed further back by Super C and Negev. But Admiral's Eye comes at Umayana past the 200-meter marker. And Admiral's Eye is the one to beat and is going on. And Admiral's Eye goes on now by three parts of a length and will win. Admiral's Eye from Umayana, Super C, Phonetic and Dirty Deal and Mama. Number three, Admiral's Eye, the daughter of Admire Main, Anton Marcus. This one for P.A.M. Muggett and Samuel Studd. Now in the care of Charles Led, Admiral's Eye for the Fire Racing Trust, Alesh Naidu. Prominent shortly after the start, and Admiral's Eye wins at about a length and a half to two lengths at the business end. So Admiral's Eye records a fourth win from 17 outings. Number 11, Umayana second. Then Super Seed, Phonetic, Dirty Deal and Mama, Kasha. Golden Dynasty, then Negev with the white blinkers. Further back in the field is Orange Blossom with a wide draw, Divine Grace. And they were followed further back in the field by At Midnight. Then Sabang, Tinchi Strider, London Olympics. Take a look at the lead on. Towards the outside, Admiral's Eye goes on. Umayana's in the green. Super Seed is staying on. And Phonetic on the right-hand side. But victory for Admiral's Eye. And the race time there is 96,29. It's still the 10th and last. A reminder about that quartet carryover until the 10th back to the studio. Right, welcome back. We've just seen the rain of the ninth race, and uh, Admiral Zah has come through to win the Kildon and KwaZulu Natal Breeders uh, Juvenile Plate non black type. And uh, I don't think this was a juvenile plate, but uh, Admiral Zah has won it. Arthur, you haven't been feeling too good? No, I've left. I've taken off a lot of weight today, you know, but yeah. uh, the best medication is getting past the post first. It's been a good day. Yeah, can't complain at all. Everything's run there or thereabout. Delighted. Yeah. And this uh, draw one's a big plus, and you managed to get yourself positioned where you could quick into your favorite spot it's always a big advantage for but i mean you know you know this filly uh she's as honest as the day is long yeah. uh, and she's an absolute pleasure to ride excellent well course has got uh, w a winning memento for your winning rider who's having such a good day today well done to him the winning trainer is charlie led let's have a chat with charlie well done, Charlie. It's, it's been a good day. You uh, runner-up in the last that ran a very good race, a distinguished. No, very much, Paul. Um, I didn't really give him uh, a chance to win at the weights. Uh, the first and third horses I thought would be hard to beat, but he's, he's very honest and uh, he did us proud. Yeah. This filly, she's raised her game again. She's fit, she's well and honest. Yes, we've been hard on her. Um, you know, she's just off uh, the best, I, I really believe. She's only a small filly, so with... 58 was a good win. Um, I, I think she deserves a bit of a break. She only ran last week and got beaten yeah. in a short head as well. Well done to Alesh. Uh, um, he's got some nice horses and um, let's hope we have some fun. Excellent. There we are. Course has got uh, winning memento for the winning trainer, Charlie Led. Then the winning owner is Alesh Naidu from the Fire Racing Trust. Alesh, come and have a chat first. She, she's done you proud. Yeah, no. So say well done to Charles. 
well done to Anton Top Road. Anton, uh, Charles gave us confidence in us, and I'm happy sure. Excellent. Well, there we go. Kurs has got a winning momentum. The winning owner is Alesh Nadu. Well done to Alesh. And uh, we've got a, a lovely little check that uh, Alesh won't say no to. 20,000 Rand. And uh, is the winning groom here, Charlie? No. We've got an envelope for the winning groom. The winning groom is uh, Mazivula Lawana. Here, here he goes. Here's uh, someone representing Charlie's yard. Coming in for a photograph. And uh, there we go. Here's uh, the man who looks after Admiral's eye. And it's won a very, very good race. That's the ninth race in the card. One more to come. Oh, the breeder. Sorry, humble apologies. We've got the breeders sitting here. And here we go. The breeders are Judge Maggot and Summerhill Stud. Heather Morkel coming forward. Well done, Heather. Please uh, take, um, accept my apologies for not noticing you there. But uh, the winning breeders, Judge Maggot and Summerhill Stud.